Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have another Disney video for you guys and I hope you can see me because I don't have my contacts in and my ring light is turned up really bright so I can't see myself very well in the viewfinder so I have no clue if I'm in focus or anything. So hopefully I am. I just wanted to film this video really quickly because we are actually going to Disney next weekend and I wanted to share with you guys our fast passes and our dining reservations that we got for the trip. If you guys don't know, we always go to Disney in May. My parents typically go with us at the same time, so I will usually make fast passes for the four of us, so me and my husband and, and the girls, and then a lot of times we do things with my parents, so that would be the six of us. We have a lot of dining reservations together. They have some on their own. We have some on our own, so just kind of a mixture of a bunch of different scenarios, but I'm going to get my Disney Parks app pulled up and kind of go over our fast passes and our plans for dining reservations. So the first day that we're actually going to be at the parks will be a Monday, and we're going to be going to Hollywood Studios that day. So we have a fast pass for Toy Story Mania. I was really surprised when we went in May um, last year that even though Slinky Dog Dash had opened, no, I was really surprised when we went to um, Disney in October of last year, I thought with Slinky Dog Dash being open, that there would not be as big of a line for Toy Story Mania, but that was actually not the case. We didn't even get to ride Toy Story Mania last, uh, our last trip because the line was so long and we didn't have a fast pass for Toy Story Mania because we had gotten one for Slinky Dog. So I knew in advance this time that we're gonna need to make a fast pass if we're gonna plan to ride Toy Story Mania, which I really do love. So we have a fast pass for that. Um, the four of us, so my husband and me and the girls, uh, have a fast pass for Tower of Terror because my youngest daughter loves that ride. And then we all have one for Star Tours later on that day. And then my parents have a Fast Pass for Fantasmic. So even though we don't have a Fast Pass for it, it's usually not too hard to get in. And what happened last year, my parents had a Fast Pass for Fantasmic and we didn't. And um, the people that were like seating people, seating guests, said that we can go ahead and sit with my parents in that section, even though we didn't have a Fast Pass. I'm hoping that kind of works out that way this time as well. So that's the first day. There's also a new nighttime show at Hollywood Studios. Uh, I don't know if it's taken the place of the Star Wars projection show uh, and fireworks show, but it's in the same location that the Star Wars show was. So I'm not really sure, but I'm excited to see that. The next day is going to be Epcot Day. We are going to uh, Chef Mickey's for breakfast, which is at the Contemporary, which is right next to Magic Kingdom. Normally we go to Chef Mickey's on Magic Kingdom Day, but just because of the way that I was able to get reservations and other things we had going on, ended up we had to get Chef Mickey's on Epcot Day, which is okay because Epcot, Contemporary, and Magic Kingdom are all on the monorail, so we can eat at the Contemporary and then take the monorail from the Contemporary to Epcot, so that won't be a problem. And then the very first Fast Pass we have is Spaceship Earth, which is really important for us to ride this trip because it's going to be closing, I believe, this summer. For refurbishment and it's going to be closed for quite a while. So we have a fast pass for that. We all have a fast pass for Soren, which everyone loves. And Living with the Land is in the same building as Soren, and it's a boat ride about food, but it's really relaxing, and I love that. So we have a fast pass for that. And then we have a dining reservation at four o'clock at Le Cellier, which is the Canadian steakhouse. It's really, really good. Um, everybody that loves steak loves it. I usually get the chicken, and it's really good. And they have the best pretzel bread. So we have that for dinner. The next day is Magic Kingdom Day. It's the only day we're going to be there that Magic Kingdom is open late. Um, so we're planning on spending all day there. We have a Fast Pass for Pirates of the Caribbean. My parents have a Fast Pass for Peter Pan, while we have a Fast Pass for the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And then we all have Be Our Guest for Lunch, which is Beast Castle at Magic Kingdom. It's a really good restaurant for... We don't eat there for dinner anymore because they've changed the dinner menu, but we like the, the lunch menu better anyway, and it's cheaper. So we're eating there for lunch. Uh, and then we have, have the Jungle Cruise Fast Pass after that. And the park will be open, I think, until midnight that night, maybe even 1 o'clock. So we'll have plenty of time to ride other things either more than once or do other things that I didn't get Fast Passes for. The next day is Animal Kingdom. I had asked the girls which park and which rides they wanted to ride the most, and they both said Animal Kingdom because they love Flight of Passage, and that's where Animal that's in Animal Kingdom. But that Thursday, we're going to Animal Kingdom to ride the Safari. We have a Fast Pass for that. We have a Fast Pass for Flight of Passage. And then me and my husband and the girls have a Fast Pass for Expedition Everest, while my parents have a Fast Pass for Rivers of Light. Again, it is a timed show, so I typically don't get Fast Passes for that. Um, and I, it's not my favorite show, honestly, but I do know they're getting ready to change it and make some updates, um, and it's worth seeing, so we'll try to go and watch that with them if we can. The next day, we're back at Hollywood Studios. This is when we have the Fast Pass for Slinky Dog Dash, um, for four people, because my parents didn't want to ride it, 
So they're going to do Toy Story Mania again while we do Slinky Dog Dash. Um, and then we have Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror again. And then hopefully we can meet up with my parents right after that because they have a fast pass for the Frozen Sing Along show, which I really do love. So we're going to go to that. So that's that day. And then the next day is back to Animal Kingdom. Now we do have an extra day that we may end up going to SeaWorld. We haven't decided yet. I haven't. We're just going to kind of figure it out once we get there. Um, once we've been to all the parks at least once, then we're going to say, okay, do you guys want to go to SeaWorld or do you want to just go back to another park and do some more rides and do more fast passes? So this is the way it is without going to SeaWorld. If we do go to SeaWorld, we're going to take away one of our Hollywood Studios extra days and go to SeaWorld. So that's kind of undecided at this point. Um, so that's Saturday. We're going back to Animal Kingdom for the Safari again, a Flight of Passage again, Primeval World, and then the Nemo Show. And then after that is the last day. And the last day we usually spend doing a lot of what people like, either whether they want to eat somewhere else again or they want to um, go back to another park and just be there again. So we have that pretty much at Animal Kingdom because, like I said, the girls really wanted to go there as many times as possible. So again, Safari, uh, we have that. We have Flight of Passage and Cali River Rapids, which I don't know if I'm going to ride or not, to be honest with you, because I don't like getting wet. And the forecast already calls for rain again like it did last May when it ruined our entire trip because it rained every single day. Not just a little bit of rain. It was downpours all day long, every day, last May when we went. And it's looking to possibly be the same this time. And I know you're going to say, well, you're already going to be wet anyway, but I just don't know. I don't know. But I've never ridden Cali River Rapids. My youngest daughter hasn't. I know my husband has. I'm not sure my oldest daughter has. I don't know. We do have a fast pass for that. We may or may not do it. And then after that, we're going to leave and go to Epcot because my husband wanted to eat at Le Cellier again. So we have another dining reservation at Le Cellier in the Canadian Steakhouse in Epcot. And then after that, would be around the time to go back to the hotel and kind of pack up and get ready to go home. So those are our fast passes and reservations for Disney. We don't really have too many dining reservations because we have so many times going to Animal Kingdom and we don't need reservations for Animal Kingdom because we like to eat at Rainforest Cafe as many times as possible. There's a Rainforest Cafe at Animal Kingdom and there's one in Disney Springs. And so because we are Landry's club members, you don't have to have a reservation. You can just show them the card and get moved to the front of the line. So I don't have to make reservations for that because whenever we decide we want to eat there, we'll just walk up and eat, you know, don't have to wait. So we plan on eating there for dinner pretty much every day that we're at Animal Kingdom and that first night after we check in. Um, we're also hoping and planning to try Rainforest Cafe for breakfast. We've never done their breakfast. It closes at 10 o'clock though. They stop serving breakfast. It doesn't close. They stop serving breakfast at 10 o'clock though. So it may be a little bit of a struggle for us to get over there by 10 because we're not like super early morning people, but I think it's going to be fun. I do want to try it. So that is something I'm hoping to do. But again, I didn't have to make a dining reservation for that because we have the Landry's member card. And then also because we're going to Hollywood Studios multiple times, um, we did not make too many dining reservations. I don't think we made any dining reservations there because we're planning on eating at Woody's Lunchbox for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, it's, it's a quick service restaurant, but it is so good. We loved it when we went in October and we just talked, we've talked about the food ever since then. They have the best breakfast sandwiches. They have amazing grilled cheese. They make it on like garlic bread and it's so good. So we're planning on eating there for breakfast and lunch and or dinner, depending on kind of when we're hungry, but that is the plan for that. So that made it easy because we didn't have to make any dining reservations for Hollywood Studios either. And then we also plan to make a few trips to the hotel for breakfast because they have the cafeteria at Riverside and they have really good Mickey waffles and breakfast and scrambled eggs and all that stuff. So again, no reservation needed for that. And I think it's really important to make dining reservations for things that you really want and then try to fill in with as many quick service restaurants as you can because when you have too many dining reservations, it makes it really hard to ride things. It makes it really hard to plan fast passes around dining because if you're trying to make a fast pass too close to a dining reservation, they will tell you in the system like you can't make this fast pass because you've got a dining reservation or you can't make this dining reservation because you've got a fast pass at this time. So you have to be really careful with the timing of things so it makes it really nice to not have too many dining reservations. And if you guys think you're going to want to eat at the um, T-Rex restaurant, at Yak and Yeti, at Rainforest Cafe, I highly recommend getting the Rain. I highly recommend getting the Landry's member card. 
It is $25 to sign up, but you get a $25 reward back, so it's essentially free, and that card is for lifetime. So you earn points based on how much you spend in the restaurant and in the gift shop. Those points will rack up and turn into rewards. You get a reward in your birthday month, and then also the main benefit for us is you get priority seating. You do not have to make a reservation, and you usually don't have to wait longer than five or 10 minutes, even though the wait can be two and three hours long for people who don't have a reservation or a Landry's card. So highly recommend that. That really helps you to get in and out of these restaurants and not have to wait and waste a bunch of time. So, so my nine-year-old is going to be helping me out and unboxing my Mickey monthly subscription box for the month of April. I got the Mickey size box, female, all ages. I do have a coupon code for you guys in the description box if you're interested uh, in getting 15% off your first month's box. Whichever box you choose, that is in the description box for you guys. So let's let her unbox it. So we're going to be opening this Mickey monthly box. If I can. Look, you slobbered all over this tape. So, first we have a little bracelet of a Maleficent neck. Like a little bracelet. It's very cute. Okay. Oh, we have a snack in here. Mickey. Licorice. So Goofy's candy. So it's Mickey's licorice. It's very exciting. It's very fun. Ooh, so we have um and also a little keychain here. It's very cute. That'll be fun. Like a little cute little keychain. Yeah, so bye. I wanted to share with you guys is our magic band decals. We've done this the last few trips now. We get our decals from a website called Shop Emily G. They last the entire trip and have never had any issues with them coming off or anything. So they're really fun. It's a great way to personalize your magic band for a lot less money than some of the things they sell at Disney. So this is my oldest daughter's. It is um, Star Wars. I cannot think of that guy's name. Whatever that little robot guy's name is. And it glows in the dark and it's glittery if you can see that. This one's mine and I have a Winnie the Pooh themed magic band decal. It's got all those cute little characters and again it's glittery and glow in the dark. My youngest daughter chose Eeyore. You can really see the glitter on hers. It's super cute and so she liked that. And we went ahead and put the little um, puck cover on hers. So when you get these, you do have the option of having the entire puck covered or just the Mickey. And my husband chose the gray and black American flag pattern. And of course it looks good with his center uh, puck being open. So we left it that way. It's just really fun. And when you go to scan them at the parks, it's always fun to get the comments from guests and other cast members. One thing that I do to keep them together until we get there is put them on one of these big binder rings. And then I clip this to our park backpack. And that way I know that they're not gonna get lost on the way to Disney and then as soon as we get there we put them on and we wear them the entire trip. So this is just kind of an easy way to keep them contained but highly recommend these decals from Shop Emily. I hope you enjoyed hearing what our fast passes are and our dining reservations are. Let me know in the comments what your favorite restaurants are to eat at and what your favorite rides are and what you would be really disappointed if you went to a Disney on a Disney vacation and you didn't get to ride or you didn't get to eat at this certain place. You know what would that be? So let me know in the comments below. I will also have my Disney playlist linked for you guys. Every single Disney video I've ever made is in that playlist about planning and packing and saving money and the girls' car bags to keep them entertained in the car. All of that stuff lives in that Disney playlist, so check it out. I will have it linked for you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.